Hello, Siloys. Last week, we had an interesting episode of a village that celebrates Christmas in the genuine spirit of the season, sharing and giving. This week, we have two musicians who will play music for us. Our guests are siblings based on Dipolic City. Both winners of the national music competition for young artists are Namsha, one in piano, and one in a grand is a grand prize winner in the junior strings category. Both are recipients of Young Achievers Awards. Please welcome Miracle and Misha Romano. Hello, Miracle and Misha. How are you? Wait, wait. Sorry. Let me get this straight. You are Miracle. You are Misha. Yes. Okay. Because I really get confused. I don't see a, a voice name. Miracle and Misha. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, that's fine. Now. Sige, go. How are you? And what brings you to Cebu? I was actually invited to play with the Cebu Philharmonic Orchestra to play for the Quincentennial celebration for the victory of Makta. And earlier today, we also played at the opening of um, It's a Habit in Robinson's Galleria. Oh, oh, oh. It's a um, diner and they partnered with Tahanan Books and uh, Smile. Oh. So um, they invited us to play at their opening earlier okay. today. So you actually have activities here. So it's not just purely vacation. We have yes. gigs here. Okay. <laughs> See, we mentioned that you come from Dipolog, right? So growing up in Dipolog, how did that help you nurture your music in you? Well, Dipolog is a place with beautiful sunsets mm -hmm. and it's a coastal city. I haven't been there yet. You should come and visit with Chris. She hasn't been there. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Chris, let's go there. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's very conducive to for artists because you get inspired by nature and there's not much distraction from uh, the city life. Yeah, so it's a quiet and simple city. Mm -hmm. Sunsets. Yeah. 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 The know? best the best thing about the polog are the sunsets. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to go there. Okay. <laughs> Miracle, you're a certified Suzuki International Piano instructor teaching violin and piano at Yuharana Music Studio, yes. right? That's in the polo. Yes. Okay. And you also finished a course in journalism. Yes. So what's the connection between music and journalism? Well, it's very um, related. They're mm -hmm. much related in, in a sense that they're, they are forms of communication. Mm -hmm. So music and um, words are used for expression and communication. So um, yes, <laughs> yeah. So I, I think this way that if I, I am writing, I should write musically. And if I'm playing music, I should be saying something. Uh -huh. So it's easier for me if I think that way. Because <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. I was thinking journalism is like a kind of like a like what a right brain, and then the music is like the left brain, or vice versa. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> <laughs> but you do both. Yes, That's but amazing. I'm more on music. I'm doing uh -huh. music more. So have you ever practiced your your? Uh -oh, being a journalist? Uh, mm, I wouldn't say uh, professionally, but I, have, I, have, I used to have a column in our local paper. Ah, yeah, okay. but uh, as for reporting, no. <laughs> yeah. At least we're able to write. Yes, uh -huh. yes. And I do still write, but not for publications. <laughs> uh, you write points. Yes. Oh, you Sometimes. Do. I'm not surprised then. Yeah. Nisha. You were the Philippine representative to the Child Aid Asia concert in 2017, Kuala Lumpur, and in 2018, so to Tokyo, Japan. Yes. Yeah. And you have a string of achievements under your name. You're a member of the Manila Symphony Junior Orchestra. Wow. That won first prize in the Summa Cum Laude International Music Festival in Vienna, Austria, 2018. Whoa! <laughs> Wonderful! How do you keep yourself grounded in your values? I have my sister who <laughs> uh, no, no. and scold me. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Ate. Yeah. Yeah. We 
Misha is 15 years younger than I am because my mom had Misha when she was 42. Okay. So we have a 15 year gap. So I'm also like a second mom to Misha. Oh, <laughs> you're the, are you the eldest? No, we have a Kuya ah, okay. and then I'm the second child, the middle child, and then Misha's the mm -hmm. youngest. Ah, okay. <laughs> so the Ate is the reason why you're <laughs> my second the mom. Ate. Uh, no, you're not, that you're not such an airhead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's my job. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned you have a kuya. Your kuya is Dandy, right? Mm -hmm. He's also a pianist. Yes, he is. And your dad is a painter. Yes, and sculptor. Oh, sculpts. wow. And your mom is a music teacher. Mm -hmm. So how's the dynamics at home here? Because you're a bond shop family. Yeah, well, according to Dr. Suzuki, who is the um, founder of the Suzuki Method that I'm teaching, mm -hmm. Well, he says that man is a son of his environment. So, growing up in a home like that, music and art has become like a second language to us already. So, yes. <laughs> so, being exposed to those things, we also... So, when did you start playing your instruments? I started with piano, actually. At one year and ten months. Because so um, tinkering with the piano. Yes, already. because we heard somebody playing the um, our students' exercises on the piano, and my mom thought it was my dad just uh -huh. playing. But when she said, um, "Dee, is that you?" and then when she looked, it was Misha tiptoeing. He could not even see the keys, but he was reaching out for the keys and playing the exercises. So at one year and ten months, he was already playing the piano. It was like out of like just. From hearing the yes, notes, exposure. Wow, yes. you are such a gifted child. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was a recent article online which says that science and math are more difficult than arts. What's your take on that? Well, I think science, math, and music are more related mm -hmm. than most people think. So, I think it just depends on your environment. Again, once again, it's about environment. So, if you grow up in a household or maybe if you are more exposed to science, then science naturally becomes easier for you. Mm -hmm. Or if you grow up in a family that's um, inclined to math, then of course it would be easier for you. Mm -hmm. But as for us, we were um, uh, raised in a family that um, had art and music at home. So, of course, it's also easier for us. Oh. But it's actually really more related than most people think. Oh, oh and I think even if you explain it to me, like for mm. 10 hours, I still won't get the relation. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Pythagoras' time, he taught uh, math and music theory side by side because he believed that the two are um, related. Oh. Yes, yeah, so. Okay, I still, I still have to figure that out for myself. Okay, good luck to me. Now, Miracle and Misha are here at the CDN Digital Studio to grace us with their music. So, Miracle and Misha, take it away. The first piece we will play is uh, Bayan Ko by De Guzman, arranged by Radanto Romero. Um, today we are using a small keyboard so we will try to fit in all the notes <laughs> in this small keyboard. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
Carol by Vicente Ruby. And Misha and I made our own arrangement for it. So this is Casa Jack. It's a Game of Thrones medley arranged also by Misha and myself. So
thank you so much for that wonderful music. Um, Misha and Miracle, Sorry, and we had goosebumps listening to you play. Thank you so much. And it's so evident that music is really a part of your lives. Now, any message to people who, or advice to people who have doubts in pursuing their music? To those who want to pursue music, do you have any? Hmm. Go for it. Start playing at one. <laughs> no, no. It's never too late to start. That's uh, what I always say. Especially if it's piano, it's never too late because um, we've had students um, that are already doctors and professionals and they never regretted um, starting. So and Find what inspires you yeah. or encourages you. To. I agree. Find what inspires you. Thank you again. Thank you for visiting the studio. Thank you for enlivening our space with your music. Thank you so much and good luck to all your endeavors. Thank, Thank you. you. So. Check out our Facebook page, CDN Digital, for more news and updates about what's happening in Cebu and our neighboring towns and cities. Also, check out our um, shows, our new show, CDN Sports Talk, Maoba, Taste of Cebu, and yeah, this one is really new. That de That's Deals of the Week. Okay, for our latest promos and events in Cebu. And visit our website at cebudailynews.inquiry.net to and our social media pages on Instagram, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Dagang salamat and Happy New Year, you guys! Know?